Hello everyone, thank you very much for watching this video and tuning in to my Chinese astrological predictions for 2019. This video is for those of you born in the sign of the monkey. If you are born in the lunar calendar years of 1968, 1980, 1992, 2004, and 2016, this video is for you. The Western astrological equivalent of monkey is Gemini. Monkeys are playful, mischievous, lively, energetic, spontaneous, and on the flip side, they can be really inflexible, unreliable, and aloof. They're most compatible with those born in the year of the ox and rabbit, and least compatible with those born in the year of tiger and pig. I will be using three different divination tools and techniques the Tao Stones, the Fortune Sticks, and the I Ching. Let's see what 2019 has in store according to the, uh, these ancient divination tools. Alright, we have uh, the first stone is Yin for feminine energies, and the second stone is Yang. So, Yin and Yang, right? Nice combination. Let's, let me consult the oracle to see what this combination means for you, for those of you born in the year of the monkey. Yin and Yang. Okay, the idea again is balance is the essence of yin and yang. Alright. And coming to uh, this balance is the idea of harmony. The idea of uh, the practice of complementary opposing forces. engagement of uh, these two elements and how it affects your physiology and if you do not look within you will come on constantly, you know, reflect and blame other people for these external factors and circumstances. So, and and it seems as if it's the fault of others, but uh, you are still involved. You're still a factor in this, right? So, this balance is yours to resolve. And you have to look within to resolve to create this balance, this yin and yang balance. So, uh, that's what the oracle has to say in regards to this combination. Uh, right, restoring balance to the male and female energies in you for this year. Okay, um, I'm going to be picking a, a stick. Let's, this is for those born in the year of the monkey. What is the fortune? Oh wow, two sticks fell out and I will honor that, number one and number three. Okay, let me consult the oracle guide on what number one and number three means. The Han Dynasty began with the fall of a great city. Two generals strove to be the conqueror. One threw up walls around it, but the mightiest could break them down to claim his throne. And you know, the traditional interpretation is this. Just like the general in the story became an emperor, this predicts that you will rise to a high position as long as you seize the opportunities given to you and strike while the iron's hot. In particular, this is a very good fortune to do anything with business affairs, although it's possible you have difficulties with a particularly tenacious rival. It's also a fortunate moment for you to commit yourself to any kind of relationship and existing relationship will flourish and grow stronger. The symbol of a fall of a great city means that what you are about to do, you must think big. The odds may seem stacked against you right now, but in reality, the timing is right. Yes, you will meet oppositions, but this should not deter you. 
In particular, if those who oppose you are guilty of oppression or abuse of power, then the need to overcome them is greater. So that's the uh, oracle reading for stick number one. And for stick number three, the mother sparrow beats with clay against the storm. The traveler struggles against the driving rain. Her fledging wings huddle inside the nest. But the clay melts and falls. All efforts are futile. The traditional interpretation of this poem is that your current precautions against disasters are unlikely to be of any use. Rather than wearing yourself out trying to defend against all possible calamities, concentrate on the good aspects of your life. With care and consideration, you can build this up again, so that when bad times do come, you can easily be able to weather them. Paying attention to your finances is wise right now, as is cautious investments in long-term projects. This is a good time to travel and meet new people, but do not commit yourself to somebody personally unless you're very sure you can trust them. Right? So all the imagery here is about struggle, anxiety and difficulties. In the midst of them, do not give up. Continue to build, to plan and to try to journey on even if all seems to collapse. The mother's love never ceases nor can the traveller act as if he is or she is not travelling. It is difficult not, but not beyond hope. Keep going, keep moving, eventually all will be better. Alright, so that's promising. Let's see what the I Ching Oracle has for you guys, born in the year of the monkey. Advice from the I Ching Oracle, really ancient. For monkey and... Right, I'll be checking in with the I Ching Oracle for this hexagram. For you guys born in the year of the monkey. And you have hexagram number 10 which is walking softly. Lakes and skies never argue over their roles. Each know the value of the other person's contribution. The empowered person knows that order and progress hinges on this perspective. And the keywords are finesse, diplomacy, tech, courtesy, manners, decorum, politeness, political awareness and temper. Walking really slowly while carrying a big stick, keeping your cool while others lose theirs, being polite in difficult situations, coming others with soft responses, identifying common grounds as means of soothing ruffled feathers. So you are like the peacemaker here. Knowing the value of your own contributions is one thing, recognizing how your contributions co combines with those of others is something entirely different. Everyone involved in a situation plays a part in it, understanding and improves. Participating and appreciating that fact is critical for progress. When people adopt a distorted sense of the value of their contribution, chaos reigns. Your success depends and hinges on helping others involve adjust their perspective without stepping on sensitive toes in the process. So use diplomacy, use tech, and knowledge issues, take responsibilities, uh, say your story, forgive others, and move on, right? Failing to do so uh, will lead to dire consequences. Uh, so you have to strategize and manage and balance all personal relationships. I hope that this reading served you. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching this video. Do feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch the other videos and check out the other animal signs in your parts of Destiny chart for a fuller picture. Thank you once again.